Three, I'll give you a three second delay. I don't have to start with the spin. Do you want to start with anything you want? I find it's always good to start with that for the simple reason that you know you have a full man. But you can start with anything you want. Stand by. Okay, so in this first clip, you're going to see my brother in the first round of competition. And so the first thing he does here is he, he goes to do a full spin on the large spinner. Now for this to work, you have to make it do a full 360 rotation. If you're unable to do this, it is a 60 second penalty. Okay, so now he is going to engage each of the white steel targets. He has to hit each of them twice for it to count, and every time he does not engage a target, it's a 15 second penalty. Okay, so we were having some slight issues with the uh, 9mm ammo I was using. It's factory ammo, the CCI Blazer 9mm, I 124 grain. Uh, for some reason, we kept having a whole bunch of problems with it doing light strikes. Okay, so as you can see here, we had three failure to engages as well, so that's an additional 45 second penalty on the five small square targets. The last three were not engaged a second time. So going forward, just know that every single time you see a transition, the magazine has to be dropped and the chamber has to be shown clear for you to tr transition to the next firearm. If this is not done, you will get a did not finish. I forgot to record the second of four stages of fire for this competition, so what you're th seeing right now is stage three. So in this stage, you must make the spinner do a full rotation with your shotgun, and then move on to the smaller spinner, which is on a little ramp, and you must spin it off of the ramp for it to work. Then you must transition over to your pistol. However, we don't have a pistol. So we're using a PCC and you have to engage the first five targets twice each. Then transition to your rifle and you have to do the six piece spinner at the very end. Okay, so what happened right here was an out of battery. Uh, we were not exactly sure what was causing this. I suspected it was a mag issue. I later confirmed this when I was cleaning the gun and I found a very, very loose screw on one of the mag on the mag catch on the gun. So I have since put some blue Loctite on it and tightened it down properly as well as done a very thorough deep clean of the firearm which has seemed to fix this problem all right so on this fourth and final stage of fire all of the white targets must be engaged twice 
both of those spinners must be spun, the same as in the last course of fire, as well as the big nine piece large spinner at the very end has to be shot. This can be done in any order, and it's supposed to be done with pistol, shotgun, and rifle. Now, the caveat with this is you are able to do this in any order whatsoever. Engage anything with any firearm you want as long as you use each of the three guns once. Alright, as you can see here, one of the five square targets has fallen off. So, to make this fair for everyone, since the second piece broke midway through the fourth and final round, we are supposed to engage the final target an additional two times to make up for the broken piece. in your house in you we by the time you go to the gun safe and unlock it and get your gun. No, you have run out the back door. It's like if they're stealing your car, give them the key. Oh did you, you hear that? That's a stupid <laughs> Alright, so what you're about to see here is the second course of fire. Er, my brother forgot to record me doing the first one, so you're going to see me start off with the second course of fire. So the way this works is with your rifle, you're supposed to start from left to right, and you're supposed to engage all the white targets once, and then start back again from the left, and sweep back to the right, engaging all the white targets again for the second time. Once you've done that, you're then supposed to transition to your pistol, and you're supposed to spin the large spinner and then move your way over towards or it's the the big nine piece spinner on the right side of the course again engaging it with your pistol Alright, so I too had the exact same problem as my brother, with two targets remaining. 
I had an out of battery. This really set me back in the third round. I had a great pace in the first two rounds. As you can see, I dropped the mag, try reseeding the mag after clearing it, and I continue to have issues. At this point, I did not realize that there was still a chunk of brass lodged in the firearm, which wasn't allowing another round to be seen properly. So every time I went to go rack the gun, I was actually causing a double feed, which obviously was not feeding properly. Once I realized this, I just simply hit the butt of the gun against the blue barrel, which caused the piece of brass to fall out. I then discussed with the ref, would it, uh, I'd be better off just calling it there, but he informed me it was actually a 60 second penalty if I did not engage these two targets on the last spinner. So knowing this, I figured I didn't waste two minutes yet, so I then engaged the last two targets. Alright, so my fourth and final course of fire here. Again, the same as my brothers, but I decided to run it the exact same way he did, only engaging the white steel targets with the rifle, and then moving on to the spinners, all three of the spinners with the shotgun. My thought process behind this was that if I have issues with my Kodiak K9 again with another out of battery, it would set me back a lot further. At this point in time, I hadn't been informed that because the second steel target here had broken off, I was supposed to engage one of the targets an additional two times. And because of this, I ended up actually getting a 30 second penalty. Alright, so if you heard that cheering in the background for me knocking down that second spinner, that's actually because right before I shot, that spinner actually broke. So the way it works is it's just four paddles on a little track, and you just shoot it until it spins off of the track. Well, the guy before me had shot it, and there were some really shoddy welds on the spinner itself, and one of the four paddles ended up breaking off, causing it to be off-balanced. And we didn't know if it was going to be able to spin or not. I was told if I wasn't able to get it off that it wouldn't count as a penalty towards me, but to engage it nonetheless just to see if I was able to knock it off the track or not. Alright guys, so as this B-roll footage of one of the other competitors uh, doing the second course of fire is rolling, I'd just like to take a quick moment and thank everybody for all the support I've been getting. I'm nearing up on nearly 100 subscribers at this point, which I think is incredible considering my very shoddy upload schedule and the fact that I don't have the greatest filming equipment. I'm just kind of doing this on my iPhone and making it work. I'm definitely not a video editor or anything, so I am very surprised with all the fucking love and support I've been getting on this channel. If you could leave a like and maybe even leave a comment, that would be greatly appreciated, or even subscribe. Hitting 100 subscribers would be pretty cool. So with all that being said, expect a video to come out on the K9, how to properly disassemble and clean it, as well as how I fixed my out of battery problem I was having with the K9, and how you might be able to fix this problem with your rifle if you're having the same one. So, for all those wondering how I did in the three gun competition, I actually somehow managed to get second place out of ten. Now, this was due in part to the fact that I was not running a pistol and was doing everything with a rifle, which made things much easier for myself. I actually had the fastest time on both the first and second course of fire, which 